Die Komik, richtiger der reine Spaß, ist die obligate Innenseite der Trauer, die ab und zu wie das Futter eines Kleides im Saum oder Revers zur Geltung kommt. And in English, comedy, or more precisely the pure joke, is the essential inner side of mourning, which from time to time, like the lining of a dress at the hem or lapel, makes its presence felt. The first time I really started to think about the way in which comedy was part of suffering was through my work on the Austrian post-war writer, well, yes, largely post-war writer, Ingeborg Bachmann. She's a very critical writer, and what I found myself noticing was uh, how funny she also is. There are aspects of her work which are not just ironic, not just satirical, but over and above that, she's actually straightforwardly funny. The starting point for my most recent project really is uh, Benjamin's quotation about comedy as the inner side of mourning, because my book has been concerned with looking at post-1945 German language literature and certain films, which aren't comedies and aren't understood to be comedies, but there's a very discernible comic aesthetic in different ways. I've also looked at an East German documentary filmmaker in Uckermark, for example, which is one of his films. The Uckermark is a, a quite an underpopulated region of Eastern uh, Germany. Uh, he has an interview with two old men who aren't in themselves comic, but their interaction is comic and the way he sets the scene up is comic in that they're filmed head on and they are extremely gloomy in their outlook. So they come across a bit like Laurel and Hardy. One is you know, slightly round, the other is very scrawny. There is inevitably a, an element of unpredictability built in, and that then is itself interesting. I was particularly surprised by how surprising humour can be and comedy can be in its various aspects, and by that I mean that I was often quite taken aback, sometimes even mildly shocked and appalled by what I found funny. There are certain television series that, that very much play around with this bringing together of humour with or comedy with um, intense suffering but also violence. Breaking Bad would be an example um, of where you find yourself laughing at things that are at the same time really quite appalling. Does it matter how scathing or how offensive comedy is because it is within the realm of fiction and we understand fiction to be operating in a different realm ethically from that of, well, we'll call it the real world. I think comedy can be shocking. I think it does overstep the boundary sometimes, but I think the question is, does it matter? I think we should worry less about the offence of comedy than we often do.